Hello Derby Fables, welcome to Derby Tastic. My name is Shinobi Selty and I'll be showing you lots of awesome shit. So can I ask you, am I the only one that has Royal Derby brain 24-7? Every person I see attend to Derby a fire in some way. Like so. Definitely cheerleaders. And it's the Godfather ref. Definitely fresh meat. Hello sexy male Derby player. Mm -mm. And the wild Derby Zebra does the Derby mating dance. Booty blocker. Whip it pack is here, whip it pack is here. And Body Thunders has jumped the apex and she's going for it. Uh, major penalty, go get a friggin' room. So the awesome Bang Splat from WA Roller Derby has done a great video about how to know when your knee pads are dying and when you really should get a new set. And here it is. Hi, I'm Bang Splat and I'm gonna give you some pointers on how to know when your knee pads are dying on you. I've learned this through my own stupidity and keeping them way too long. There are three stages. Stage number one, you'll feel the impact of your fall slightly vibrate through your knees. Stage number two, this is where you should get new knee pads. You'll feel the impact of your fall vibrate through your knees moderately. Stage number three, this is where you should have gotten new knee pads and you're risking injury. You'll feel the impact of your fall vibrate through your knees strongly and every few falls you'll feel a sharp pain. I would recommend for freshies to get um, triple eight knee pads. These are compact yet protective. One at seven pro knee pads are the best. However, they're bulky, which people can find hard. So maybe wait till you're advanced, contact cleared, or be just become scrimmage clear. You shouldn't have a problem at this stage to adjust. Anyway, hope this helps. Bye. Bangsplat also has a YouTube page and a Facebook page and I'll link that down below. So this awesome bunch of roller derby ladies decide to do shoe derby, which is more dangerous than sock derby because you actually have grip. They did six on six with four jammers. Oh my God, it's like the pack from hell. <laughs> Where's the pack? Yeah! <laughs> it's hard being the only ref. Shoe Derby! Shoe Derby! How much did you like Shoe Derby? As much as I like your mom! I think I'm going to request Shoe Derby at our next training session. If I'm allowed. I found a video of this unbelievable men's derby player. I don't know what it is about men's derby, but I get really excited when I watch it. Men, when they play sport, are kind of amazing. They take bits and pieces from other sports they know and then bring it into the current sport they're playing, but still keep it legal. And this is what male derby players do in men's derby. They add in extra little bits and pieces to roller derby that just give it a little bit of extra flavor. Enough waffle, here is the awesome video. Yeah, yeah. It's crowded when the whole place is crowded. I'm about it when it is about it. Don't doubt it. I got a pocket full of evil getting love from my people. You don't want to see the sequel if you see it. Everything you want to be, I'm a bit. Everything you want to do, I'm gonna do it. The best you ever smoke, I probably grew it. I'm the fluid and I flow like the ocean. These chickens need lotion, even you moisturize. I'm so west coasting, I'm so slow motion Baby wanna put it in my face and crack it open But baby just put it in my pocket cause it's open And please stop hoping that that is he loving cause I ain't I'm going straight to the bank and if I have another drink in my Rose City Rollers have released a video advertising their Derby Days boot camp 
which is three days of fantastic awesomeness in August. Tickets go on sale on June 1st. On the 15th of April, Woofta released its new minimum skills requirements. And me and every other fresh meat in the world went, oh my God. Why you ask? Oh, I'll tell you why. 27 in five. It's not 25 and five anymore, it's 27. Okay, it's totally achievable, but uh, cardio is not my thing. And there's more. Woofta expanded the details on a lot of the rules. So it tells you in details what Actually, a T-stop is and a plow stop is, for example. Other new rules include skating an entire lap backwards, reverse crossovers, single knee drops don't exist anymore. They're now called knee taps and literally you tap. So it's like doing a lunge and your knee taps the ground and then you get up and keep going. Baseball slides are gone. Grapevining is now an assessed skill. Uh, and if you don't know what grapevining is, it looks a little bit like this. Series. Transitions, aka tomahawk stops, are now included. In other derby news, Bonnie Thunders and Oh My God, What The Fuck from Gotham Girls Roller Derby have teamed up to make their own skate company called Brooklyn Skate Company. They've also teamed up with Kling Bell, which is a 60 year old skate company based in the USA, which specializes in making boots for artistic ice skaters. They only have one product on their website at the moment, the Merilu 340, and you can only get it from Five Strides Skate Shop in Brooklyn. And the website says to ask your local derby supplier when the Merilu 340 is coming into their shop. So my question to you is, is Brooklyn Skate Company's Merilu 340 going to be the new antique? Is it going to be the new, oh my fucking god, I want that skate? Leave your answers in the comments below. Okay, that's it guys. I'm signing off because there's currently a thunderstorm going on and uh, I've got a light here and a light here and a whole bunch of electrical stuff behind me and I'm afraid I'm going to get electrocuted. So I'll see you next week.